We're attempting to break two world records with one marble run, and it's the largest marble run I've ever built. Can we do it? Can we set two world records with one marble run? I don't know if this is possible, but we're gonna try. Okay, here's the scoop. I'm driving across the desert southwest to Leeds Con, a convention being held at the Paris Las Vegas, a hotel with amazing views right across from the Bellagio Fountains. The headline sponsor, PX, wants a huge marble run for their convention booth to get everyone's attention. So I packed up all this Gravitrax to build a larger-than-life Gravitrax marble run that models their business processes. This is the biggest build I've ever done, even larger than my Notre Dame marble run. It's 10 feet long, 10 feet wide, and stands 10 feet tall, including the 40-inch high table that was custom designed just for this build. But what makes this marble run completely bonkers is that it's actually two separate tracks, each one attempting to set a Gravitrax world record of its own. It's Monday, April 8th, and it's time to build the marble run. I designed the entire layout ahead of time, capturing the design in the Gravitrax app, and now we're using the app to generate build instructions. But this build is so big, I don't know if we can finish in time for the convention opening tomorrow morning. Our table wasn't assembled until afternoon, so now we're pressed for time. Thankfully, I hired some help, and even PX employees are chipping in. Oh no, it's 6 p.m. and security says we'll soon have to vacate the hall. But we're not done. This is really stressful. Thankfully, they didn't kick us out, so we were able to stay and complete the build. It's Tuesday morning, and here comes the crowd. People are loving the marble run. Many made a point of telling us it's the best booth here. And that brings us to the first world record we're trying to break. We're inviting convention attendees to pick up a marble and run it through the main track because we want to set the record for the most participants in a Gravitrax marble run. The record we have to beat? Around 50 participants in the Gravitrax Builder event that was held in Hamburg, Germany in 2022. We'll keep track of participants using this 3D printed counter. The main track helps explain what the company does by modeling their business processes. PX is a customer acquisition platform, which means they supply leads to businesses. So the marbles represent leads. Seven marble entrances represent different lead sources, and each entrance has its own track. There are two central click-clack tracks. Flanking those are two speed tracks, which dump out into the click-clack tracks. Then there are two really cool self-reversing tracks. Well, they're cool when they don't malfunction. And lastly, there's a long, leisurely switchback track. All seven tracks converge into this mesmerizing 3D printed funnel from the CM3D store, which I've linked in the description. Leads are then routed to the company's quality check and filters, represented by this massive field of switches. And check this out. These wireless triggers move the power switches here just to shake things up. Next, marbles go through two rows of turntables. Some marbles are kicked into this side track where they roll into the mush pot for rejected leads. Psych, just kidding, we don't actually send anyone's marble to the rejected leads. From there, marbles enter the company's secret sauce algorithm, which is represented by crisscrossing slow rails, followed by a Gravitrax flower design that was developed by a 10-year-old. This was seriously everyone's favorite part of the marble run. Then the marbles climb this sheer cliff of Gravitrax power elevators to roll down the spiral ramp inside. The grand finale is four funnels that match leads to buyers. But that's only half of the marble run. While participants are dropping their marbles into the track below, a separate self-looping track is suspended above on the four towers. This track will attempt to break a second world record for the longest running Gravitrax track ever. Our goal for this track is to shatter the existing record of nine hours and 45 minutes, which I previously set by running a Gravitrax elevator in a small loop until the battery ran out. Today, we're shooting for 30 hours by running this track continuously for the entire convention, even overnight, from Tuesday morning until Wednesday afternoon. For this record attempt, I designed a looping track powered by 12 Gravitrax power levers. A single marble will recirculate through the loop every 80 seconds. 
This track is really fun because it's like those restaurants with the elevated train tracks. The marble even goes around the four towers. But I'm a little nervous because during my tests, the marble sometimes stopped. While that's running, let's check on our participant track. We are getting more participants, but will it be enough to break the record? The first day is now over and the self-looping track is well on its way to setting a world record with over 10 hours on the clock. Can it go for 30 hours straight? We'll let it run overnight and see if it's still going in the morning. Good morning, it's Wednesday, April 10th, and the marble is still in motion after running all night. But can it make it to 30 hours? Today is not as busy as the first day, so let's have a little fun sending a lot of marbles down the main track. It's now Wednesday afternoon and the convention has ended. Were we able to set two new Gravitrax World Records? Let's check the participant counter on the main track. Yes, we did it. We got 355 participants. We shattered the world record for most participants in a Gravitrax track. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Did the self-looping track last for 30 hours? Let's see. The timer says 30 hours and 45 minutes. Yes, we shattered the record for the longest running Gravitrax track ever. Since we were making adjustments to the track for the first 10 minutes, we'll subtract that 10 minutes from the total. That gives us a world record of 30 hours and 35 minutes. As proof of the record, I'll post a time-lapse video of the entire run on my Masked Marble Extras channel. We just set two world records with one Gravitrex Marble run, the largest I've ever built. Will these records ever be broken? Thanks to PX and all who participated in this record-breaking marble run.